Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, let's take a look at the Moody V2 GL's E750 V2, a portable 4G LTE wireless router from GLINet. This portable 4G LTE router is designed for those who require reliable internet access on the go, whether traveling or working remotely. Featuring 4G LTE connectivity, the Moody V2 will get you connected to the internet no matter where you are, on the road, at a coffee shop, at the beach, and even traveling overseas, etc. Not only that, with built-in VPN functions such as WiGuard and OpenVPN, the Moody V2 secures the connection by creating a VPN tunnel that connects your devices to your home network, providing a private and encrypted connection. It's worth to mention that the Moody V2 now comes with two options. You can get a higher LTE throughput with a classic LTE module. Else, you can save a bit by selecting the Cat4 LTE module, which will give you 150 Mbps downloads and 50 Mbps upload theoretically. Taking a closer look at the device, we can see a little screen showing information about the LTE connection, battery percentage, connected devices, Wi-Fi LSID, and operating mode, etc. On the right side of the Moody V2, there is a button. It is the power button. At the same time, it will let you navigate between the pages and of course, turn on and off the Moody V2. The GLINet Moody V2 can be set up in just a few minutes. You can use the GLINet app or use the router admin panel at 192.168.8.1. The GeoINet user interface is very clean and user-friendly. All the basic information of the internet connections are well presented at the first play. Don't worry about the APN because in most of the cases, it will be automatically configured. Despite being a 4G LTE router, the Moody V2 gives you freedom to customization. The router runs a proprietary firmware based on OpenWRT 22.03 with kernel version 5.150.156. Beside the GeoINet web UI, you can go to the advanced section to access the Lucy web interface. Here, you have more controls of the router with Lucy. However, please bear in mind that some sections or configurations are only available in GeoINet UI. So, please proceed with caution. You may ask about the official OpenWRT support. Well, at the time of making this video, official OpenWRT support is not available for the Moody V2, but I believe it is just a matter of time since the previous generation, the Moody V1 is already supported. Equipped with a 7000 mAh battery, the Moody V2 can provide up to 8 hours of internet uses on a single charge. The USB Type-A port can also provide the power to charge your device. However, I advise not to abuse this because the battery capacity is limited, and it was designed as a 4G LTE router, not a power bank. I almost forget about the USB-C dock. This will allow you to connect the Moody V2 to your PC using Ethernet cable, and at the same time, charging the device. This could be useful if you require a stable internet connection. So far, we already have an overview of the GL's iNet Moody V2. Now, let's check out the device performance in real life by having some speed tests. But before doing that, let's set up the Moody V2. First of all, Open the lid at the back using your fingernail, and then install the nano SIM card into the slot. If you have a micro SD card, you can insert it to the router for file storage. In my case, I will skip it. Alright, that is it. Now, let's press the power button to turn on the Moody V2. We can see that the little booting text showing on the OLED screen. The router is ready. Let's connect to its Wi-Fi address ID, which will start with GL-E50 and the Wi-Fi password is Good Life. 
without space. All right, we are connected to the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and all good. Let's check out the dashboard at 192.168.a.1. As usual, you will be asked to set up a password before proceeding. We are at the router homepage. The SIM cards were detected and auto configure. I will hit auto setup to initialize the connection. Very good, let's proceed with some speed tests. We can see that the average speed is around 30 to 40 Mbps and in some location it can reach up to 100 Mbps and even more than that. Please bear in mind that the 4G LTE speed depends on your network providers or your telephone provider and also the number of connected devices around you. Therefore, the speed will be different from case to case. So far, we already checked out the GL iNet Moody V2. I hope you enjoy the device and if you want to own one, don't hesitate to visit gl-inet.com for more information. That's it, thanks for watching and see you again.